Hey everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the tracking system actually works. We're going to be doing some testing of it here. Um, I actually have access to the tallest building in town, so I'm going to be setting it up on one of the upper floors in a north facing window and then driving around town with um, all of the equipment set up in the car. So let's take a look at what's in the car. First, we can take a look here and see that on the roof of the car we have what's called a ground plane antenna. And then over here we've got a GPS receiver that is hooked to the laptop in the car. The sunroof up here, and then down into the laptop. We've got all of the equipment, all of the software set up right here. I'll be switching the view over to the laptop here so we can take a better look at that. All right, so we've got the mapping software right here. This is receiving the signal from Packet Engine, and that's receiving the signal from SDR console, we've got it tuned to 144.39. Signal comes in here, which feeds it over to the map. We've got the GPS coming in here as well, so it'll follow our location. And then we'll see the transmitter for the balloon project also show up once I turn it on. So I'm gonna go set it up and we'll continue. All right, so I've got the whole thing set up here. It is going to be powered with this external USB battery rather than its own battery pack. We've got the tracking system hooked up via USB to the Raspberry Pi GPS. And we're up high, so we should get a good range off of this. I'm gonna be driving up this main road right here, and we'll see how far we can get. All right, we're back in the car here. And we can already see that in the time it took me to get back to the car, we've already got several signals coming through here. And we're already seeing the balloon on the map here. It just looks like it's right on top of the car, but we're going to go for a drive now and see how far we can get and still pick up a signal. So from here, we should be able to get a signal. You can see the building in the distance there where it's about right there at the tip of my finger. That's where the transmitter is at on the ninth floor. But as of right now, it's been... About 11 minutes since the last transmission. I was really curious to see how well this worked with the um, whole thing being powered off of USB. Um, USB is not going to supply the actual transmitter module itself with a full uh, 5 volts worth of power, so probably why we're not picking up the signal from here, but I think we did get some good results. I'm going to drive around a little bit further and see if I can get in line of sight of that transmitter to try to get a good distance rating on that thing at this point. So it looks like we did manage to pick up some another transmission here. Not quite as far as I would have wanted it to be. But that just goes to show that I do need to use the AA battery pack. It's got uh, four or six AA batteries in there. It ends up providing a total of nine volts worth of power to the Arduino Uno. So I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to use that and save some weight in the payload package. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. I'm going to go retrieve the transmitter now, and I'll talk to you all next week. I think next week I'll probably, I really want to try putting everything in a box full of dry ice and see how everything holds up with temperature. That would really just be a worst case scenario, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. But until then, make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to read your comments below, and you can also now check out thinkingofpi.com. I'm trying to put all of my videos on there along with some documentation and some commentary, giving you more information on everything that I'm doing. So I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks for watching.